equally across the board. We know that. We see examples of that every day in, the, uh, in, in all these news. Sure, Soros is allowed to be a famous Nazi collaborator, and he's worshipped by the ADL. But if you're not right. a Nazi and fight Nazis, they call you a Nazi. This is the upside-down right. planet. And, it, and we also now know from the emails that Hillary Clinton was using her, her, her position as Secretary of State to basically uh, 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 bribe foreign governments and foreign businessmen for donations uh, uh, to the Cl uh, Clinton Foundation. In other words, you want a, you want a favorable trade deal with the United States. Well, let's see if you can ante up, pony up some money to the Clinton Foundation. Now, one Canadian mining magnate who specializes in uranium uh, mines donated some $31 million uh, to the uh, Clinton Foundation. And, and, and what happens? Bill Clinton goes over to Kazakhstan, talks to their president about giving this uh, guy, Frank Justra, in Canada a, a favorable deal on uranium mining in Kazakhstan. That seems to be what this whole uh, private email was centered on. Uh, you know, emails between Hillary and Bill and, and Soros and, and Chelsea Clinton Mesvinsky, who's actually married to the son of a uh, disgraced congressman who, who was indicted for, uh, for, for uh, misconduct, uh, Ed Mesvinsky. Uh, so, it, you know, it goes on and on with the Clinton family. They have been using their public offices for personal uh, gain and personal enrichment, and uh, yet they have the audacity to seek uh, a term uh, uh, as president for Hillary Clinton. Um, I would uh, hope people would actually uh, look into this and, 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 you know, they don't have to take my word for it, but do independent research. And I'm not saying they got to go back and look at uh, Monica Lewinsky and Whitewater. Th this scandal stands on its own ground. Going back to how we started, Who's worse, Joe Biden um, getting the nomination or Hillary? And do you think Biden's going to jump in? Here's the question. How big's the war, which is now confirmed mainstream news, between the Clintons and the Obama crew? Well, there's always been there's always been an internecine war going on between these two camps. Uh, uh, it, it's going to get worse when Biden announces. We already saw a little bit of that from the Hillary camp about the them saying by it was Biden who leaked the information from his dying son, uh, Bo, uh, Bo Biden, who died of cancer, that he wanted his dad to run for the presidency. Well, we're going to see if people are upset, if the Biden camp is upset over that from Hillary, they've they've seen nothing yet. Uh, you know, when you look at the two, uh, who's who's worse? Well, you know, I think that's a, a an issue where you look at Biden a uh, longtime senator from Delaware, let's face it, that's the Philadelphia area. You do not get elected to any office in, in the Delaware Valley unless you got some ties uh, to some sort of uh, unsavory activity, uh, whether it's through unions or, or uh, wealthy people in that area, businessmen, it's going to be there. But, uh, you know, Biden, I, I think we know what we're getting with Biden we should know what we're getting with Hillary, but she always surprises us with yet another uh, scandal because she's so in your face with this stuff. Um, she doesn't care, and neither does her husband. They've never cared about Speaking that. of that, uh, here she was this weekend talking to one of her you know, political minions, uh, saying it's a conspiracy theory that she had a second server and another email to cover stuff up. I mean, even the head of the EPA uh, had to step down when she got caught. Uh, using a secret email. I mean, this is just 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 incredible. Uh, and then she has the nerve to just say she's the most transparent in history. Here it is. Gone further than anybody that I'm aware of in American history. Now that's not a long history because we haven't had emails that long. But uh, well, as, as long as we've had them, I've gone longer and farther to try to be as transparent as possible. Nobody else has done that. And then there's another clip where she goes on to say it's a conspiracy theory. You know, there's conspiracy theorists out there that are saying all this. So pretty arrogant. Well, she used the term vast right wing conspiracy. Remember when uh, they were going after her husband for the, the total Whitewater and Lewinsky matter. And, and, you know, later we found out that was much worse than uh, what was reported because Bill Clinton during his affair with Monica Lewinsky is even heard on on the uh, uh, on the transcripts uh, in the in the in the in the, in the uh, depositions 
that he was wor uh, worried that there was a foreign power listening in uh, to his phone calls with uh, his girlfriend, Monica Lewinsky. And later on, it was determined that that foreign power was the Israeli intelligence service. So, uh, I mean, uh, they always they always downplay. Uh, they're masters at this. Hillary learned a lot from her husband, who really, I think, pioneered, uh, you know, how to uh, how to actually lie with a smile on your face. And, and she just got away with it in that clip there trying to say she's been transparent. Well, the entire Obama administration administra most secretive. It's been the least transparent administration in our history. You always have a lot of big stories you tell me about off air that end up being print stories and infowars.com. Uh, what what are some of the other big stories you're working on right now uh, and some of the other big shoes you think are going to be dropping? Well, I, it's very interesting to see what's going on in the house now with Kevin McCarthy who everybody thought was going to replace Boehner as speaker now dropping out of that race. Uh, I, I would look to see uh, some real surprises in, in that uh, Donnie Brook right now. And one thing I can tell you is, uh, and this can, comes up from the uh, out of the Pope's visit uh, to the Capitol and his speech before the joint session, uh, CNN uh, had a had a hot mic present in a very restricted area. And if you've ever been to Capitol Hill and the House side, you know you're not allowed. If you're not a member, you you can't go into the um, the, the actual well of the House of Representatives. You've got to be a member or, or an authorized staffer. It's very restricted. So outside outside the door is where the Pope was going in, and that area was highly restricted only because of the presence of the Pope that day. It's usually restricted anyway, but it was really restricted at that point in time to only cleared members of the media and uh, members of, of Congress and special guests of those members uh, of Congress and, and, and CNN picked up a hot mic of a woman saying, I ought to, I ought to throw my shoe at, at, at him, you know, you know, obviously referring to the Pope. Uh, CNN did not identify who stated that. And um, through some voice analysis uh, uh, done by some people that I know uh, and a, a, a phone call by the media to her office, it's, it's quite clear that the person who said that uh, was uh, none other than Representative Kay Granger from your state of Texas. She represents the San Antonio, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, Fort Worth area. And um, and uh, anyway, uh, uh, I We'll be back. Stay there. More with Wayne Madsen. I'm Alice Jones. Final segment with Wayne Madsen. Then David Knight takes over in the fourth hour. As you can clearly see, we're going to move towards more shows, more programs, more news. Uh, very soon, I'll start announcing some of the AM, FM new affiliates, also the UHF, VHF, and cable. Got quite a lot of those signing on as we tweak some of our feeds and tones and digital things. A lot of computer stuff involved. In the face of this tyranny, we're not putting on half measures. We're really trying to stop it. And Wayne, uh, Congress has a 9% approval rating running for about three years now. Obama has one of the lowest ever. The Republican leadership does. Despite all the big police state builds up that we see there is a lot of signs of good things happening our military doesn't want to be part of overthrowing Assad the Russians have come in to stand up against this very popular with Americans there is some good things happening I mean it seems there's got to be some end to the corruption and the flim flam and the fluff they may have half the public part Republican part Democrat totally dumbed down and stupid they may have brought in 40 million people that aren't really Americans and are confused but still, at the end of the day, there are a lot of folks of every race, color, and creed and religion, whether they be Christian, Muslim, or agnostic, or Jewish, or whatever, who realize we've really got crazy corruption going on, and now the economy's getting ready to collapse. Uh, all that news is there. I mean, confidence in this system is about to go down, and no amount of slick talk is going to put it back together again. Well, that's right. And we know that the uh, head of the Defense Intelligence Agency, the former head, uh, Lieutenant General Michael Flynn, uh, was fired last year because he objected to the U.S. supporting the most radical jihadists in Syria, most of which, as I mentioned, are non-Arabs. They're, they're Chechens, they're uh, Uyghurs from Western China. They're even recruiting uh, people from Indonesia to, uh, to go and move to Syria and Iraq to to take this land over for the Islamic Caliphate. Uh, there are people I know, and I've heard uh, from them directly in the CIA, who do believe that John Brennan, the director, 
is too pro-Saudi. So I know there was a former FBI agent, I believe his name is John Guandalo, who said that he thought that Brennan converted to Wahhabist Islam when he was the CIA station chief in Riyadh. Now, that, you, you don't have to convert to show that you're at least sympathetic to their cause. This is one of the most radical forms of Islam there is, if not the most And it's radical. got the Saudi backing in trillions, so why not sign on to it? Absolutely. And, and, that, and you know, with, with Brennan uh, uh, training uh, these uh, jihadists in secret camps in, in Turkey and Qatar and Saudi Arabia. Oh, it's clear a uh, large faction of the globalists are not just trying to create a clash of civilizations. They're going past the Bushes and Cheney and they're going, why don't we just take over? Absolutely. And so you got a lot of these jihadists trained by the CIA now showing up in Europe. Uh, young men with cell, you know, with cell phones, refugees with cell phones, ATM cards, and a lot of cash. Where are they getting that from? And uh, they've already had horrendous rapes uh, reported in Germany and Austria. Uh, they've had uh, there were Germans on the street in Munich for Oktoberfest who were confronted by these Muslims, uh, jihadist type uh, radicals, saying, "Put the beer away. Do not." Look, drink anybody alcohol. comes up and says, "Put my beer down or my pretzel," I'm going to punch them in the nose. I don't <laughs> well, care who they are. You can imagine what happened in Munich during Oktoberfest when some big Germans were told to do that. There were riot, uh, brawls on the street, as you can imagine. But uh, they're talking about Angela Merkel, who was responsible for this mess, getting the Nobel Peace Prize. God, this Which woman is unbelievable. So, 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 uh, Wayne, do, do five more minutes and then... And then um, Sure. David Knight's taking over. I wanted to kick it to him because he's got a big show lined up, but five more minutes to have you kind of confirming what the last guest was saying. I mean, there, it, it's definitely a triple cross here. And I don't know, I mean, why would they want to bring in hundreds of thousands of jihadis clearly that are sleeper cells? Is it to menace Europe, then take all the rights because of the threat and persecute Muslims? Or is it a end game to actually repopulate the world with a giant Muslim population? Uh, I mean, th this is just over the top because they're telling Germans you can't wear a skirt. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's clobbering time, folks. We'll be back. Stay with us. Broadcasting worldwide, ladies and gentlemen. Final segment, then I'm going to hand the baton off to David Knight in the Situation Room. Can we call this the Situation Room or that studio? I haven't come up with the right names for it yet. Wayne Madsen's our guest. If we follow the Saudi British intelligence neocon globalist pattern, we know a lot of neocons are advising Obama. It's a very sick mix of socialist, communist, mega bankers, ultra rich Hollywood types, and neocon Trotskyite, Dr. Strangelove uh, people. If they follow the past pattern, they'll flood us with a bunch of radical Muslims. They'll shoot up a bunch of churches, stores, malls, synagogues, military bases, recruiting centers. Everybody's going to get mad. There'll be a big deportation that's for show, big walls built that are keep us in. Uh, and then they'll use that crisis for more draconian police state. Then there'll be a clash of civilizations. And we won't go out for Saudi Arabia that quarterbacked it or Turkey that you know helped do it. It'll be, you know, blame Iran or blame, you know, some other country that wasn't part of it, just like 9-11 with Iraq. And I think that's probably what's happening. But then I see the size of the influx and a lot of the other behavior. And Saudi Arabia is so pleased. Uh, and it makes me think it might be something else. Wayne, we got four minutes left. What do you really think is going on? Well, we know that Saudi Arabia offered to build 200 mosques for the Muslims in Germany. Uh, and that's an indication that they expect these people to stay permanently. Uh, we're talking about anywhere from 1.5 to 3 million uh, refugees just for, from Syria alone. That doesn't count the ones that are taking advantage of Europe dropping its border restrictions that are coming in from North Africa, Sub-Sahara Africa, uh, South Asia, Afghanistan, Pakistan, as far away as Bangladesh, uh, coming to Europe, uh, taking advantage of this situation. So, so Merkel, who who is the most unpopular chancellor in Germany right now, and I, you might say even probably right now even more unpopular than Adolf Hitler was, <laughs> even when they started losing on the battlefield, they're talking about her getting a Nobel Peace Prize. Of course, Henry Kissinger got that and a couple other undeserving Al Gore. Barack uh, Obama. Barack how many Obama, right. Who, <laughs> who, uh, you know, we just had the bombing of the, the hospital in Afghanistan, and he, he thinks he... You know, because he has a Nobel Peace Prize, just an apology to the doctors without borders will suffice. But um, anyway, it, it is a huge mess. But look, 
The reason Russia and China and Iran are sending troops to Syria, that's their line in the sand. They do not want to see a 